well, which should be helpful for those of you in Nigeria and other countries where the satellite uh, signal isn't reaching to all parts of uh, your country. So please uh, don't forget YouTube, www.youtube.com slash TV, as well as Twitter and all of our social media. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about repentance. Uh, the, t the title of the episode is Beautiful Sinner. Uh, we all sin, but what do we do after? We all make mistakes, but what do we do after? Do we ask Allah to, for, for, to forgive us? Are we on the path of repentance? That is the topic today. I'm joined by, some th from, by three special guests. Uh, you've seen them on Let's Talk before. We're happy and pleased to have them back, as well as my, bro my brother, my co-host, Lathe, all the way here from Anaheim, <laughs> California, via a man, Jordan, based in Cairo. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Lathe. Assalamu Brother, I really appreciate you co-hosting this episode with me, inshallah. Thank you. Uh, and I hope, inshallah ta'ala, soon you take over and, uh, and we give you a chance to be up here, inshallah. Hopefully, enough, inshallah. <laughs> we, we want you here, man. <laughs> <laughs> inshallah. Well, look, we have enough time. There's enough uh, screen time because we have a million programs and not too many presenters, so don't worry. <laughs> <It's> terrific. <laughs> so, brother, let's <laughs> the, well, introduce yourself a little bit and, um, and uh, well, let's introduce ourselves first, inshallah. Go ahead. All right. Uh, my name is Lathe al Qadiri. I am 20 years old. Uh, born and raised in Anaheim, California. Continued the rest of my life in Amman, Jordan. And I'm currently uh, studying here in Egypt in the Faculty of Dentistry. Great. Yes, sir. And I know you're from California, so you're Southern California, so you want to say dude a lot, I'm sure. And men. Dude. Dude, go feel free. Man and dude. There's no problem with me. It's not to say it's feel free. <laughs> it, it means worms in Arabic. That's the problem. What does? It means dude. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you right. don't hurt people's feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Introduce yourself, brother. It's been a while, actually, since you've been on the program. Yeah, um, my name is Yusuf Salheen. I'm 21 years old. Um, I was born in Saudi Arabia. Okay, oh, great. Uh, I'm originally an Egyptian. Okay, and uh, are you st you're studying now? Yeah, I'm studying um, School of Languages and Translation. Okay, great. At Razor University, Islamic Studies and English Division. What year are you in? Are you in the first year, the second year, the, the third, third year? The third year? Yep. Oh, great. Okay, great. Thank you for being with us. All right, go ahead, brother. Okay. I'm Nasif Abu Bakr from Nigeria. Where at? But you have yeah. to tell me where, brother. Where <laughs> in Nigeria? Yeah. The north of the country specifically. And I'm here in Cairo to study. Yeah. I haven't started my study yet. Okay. But yeah. you're studying Arabic language? Yeah. So, okay, great. I'm 19 years old. Great. Wonderful. Now, yeah. brother, uh, my friend, my good friend is from Eloran, Nigeria. How far are you from Eloran? Where are you oh, in the north? Wow. Miles away. Miles yeah, away, yeah, okay. Miles but away. your native language is Hausa. Yeah, my native language. Or, no, Ful or Fulani. No, Hausa Fulani, yeah. Okay, they because I speak, I speak, brother, I speak a little Hausa like I told you, yeah, yeah, Gidda. I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, how is family and how is study? <laughs> yeah, really. I'll have to learn more, inshallah. Right, and inshallah. by the way, we want to give a special greeting to our good friend, Mohammed Garba. He was part of the Hood TV family. He returned down there to Nigeria. Yeah. He completed his studies at Azhar. Now he went back home to his mm -hmm. country where he's serving uh, in the military forces. So we miss him. And yeah. we want, we, if you're watching, brother, we miss you. We, we miss you here at Hoda TV. So keep in touch, inshallah. Muhammad Garba from uh, Elora, Nigeria. And brother, by the way, actually, you've traveled to Nigeria, haven't you? Yes, yes. So yes. first, introduce yourself a little bit and then tell me what you're doing here in Cairo and tell me why you traveled down there in the first place. Uh, Assalamu alaikum to Allah. Um, uh, my name is Ilyas. I'm here in uh, Egypt, inshallah, I'm going to start Azhar soon. Um, I'm 27, a bit, bit, bit older hey, than I'm 31, else. man. I'm 31, <laughs> I'm an old man. Uh, I'm not as old as you, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm here with my family in uh, Egypt. Uh, I went to uh, Lagos uh, to deliver some lectures as part of JFAC, Justice for Afia Coalition. Okay, wonderful. Um, and yeah, it was a really great time. I had a really nice time, and I'd love to go back there again. Yeah, wonderful. Great. Thank you, brother. All right. Uh, let's start with the topic, beautiful sinner. Uh, what do we... This, uh, what does that mean? That's like a, what do they call it, an oxymoron? Uh, like military There's intelligence? contradiction in the expression. There's a contradiction. <laughs> nope. <laughs> right, right? Yeah. It's contradiction, right? Yeah, because yeah. like a sinner is not yeah. usually beautiful, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. A sinner is something we look down upon, so you're calling them beautiful is probably an oxymoron. Right, what do you think? Well, what about that term? They name it, we name this episode beautiful sinner. What are we trying yeah, to convey? I think it's taken from the um, hadith of the Prophet. Um, That's yeah. Uh, all sons of Adam are sinners, and the most beautiful of sinners who those who are who, those who repent. Okay. Allah. Yeah, it's it's uh, reported by Ibn Majah and at Tirmidhi. Great, wonderful. That opens up the, the episode. Brother, give me your thoughts as well. Okay. Beautiful sinner. Okay, beautiful sinners. What an interesting topic. Man by nature is weak. So Allah says in the Quran, man was created weak. So I think even uh, no one is capable of discharging the divine responsibilities commandably well. So that's why Allah commands us to repent to our sins. Okay. And he says, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kullu bani adama khata wa khairul khata'in tawabun. All the sons of Adam are sinners. But the base of sinners are those who repent. 
In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لَوْ لَمْ تُذْنِبُوا لَذَهَبَ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ ثُمَّ جَاءَ بِقَوْمٍ آخَرِينَ فَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ فَيَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ If you didn't commit sin, Allah will wipe you from this earth or replace you by another people who will commit sin and seek Allah's forgiveness and he will forgive them. So we are all sinners without any exception. Even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who had had all his sins forgiven both past and present. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran told him, فَأَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ Know that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And seek forgiveness for your sins and the sins for the believing men and the believing women. So that's why Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, by Allah, I personally, I seek Allah's forgiveness more than hundred more than hundred times a day. So you see, the repentance is not only for the sinners. Even the pious have been commanded to seek their lost forgiveness. Yeah. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or the Allah subhanahu wa taala, said in the glorious Quran, "وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَلَمْ يُسِرُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ So, uh, there are those who when they have wronged themselves or when they have committed sins, they seek Allah's forgiveness and they do not continue doing that knowingly. So, the problem is not a committing sin. The problem is to continue your doing evil deeds after you know that you have committed sins. Yeah, we, we can see a prime example of this w between what happened between our father Adam alayhi salam and our enemy said shaitan so both of them committed sins but what the difference between them Adam sought his Allah's forgiveness a repentant that's why Allah accepted him but uh, shaitan remained arrogant so he didn't seek Allah's forgiveness that's why he went astray so I think whenever we commit a sin we have to return to Allah to seek forgiveness Allah will be there for you and will forgive all your sins. Barakafiq, brother, and I thank you for bringing the ayat and hadith. And I was going to go to Brother Elias, but subhanAllah, brother, you, you, uh, you explain everything very nicely, inshallah. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, Brother Elias, we're going to check out this report, you guys, and we'll be right back. You guys stay tuned to Let's Talk. Welcome back to Let's Talk. I hope you enjoyed that report of our, our respected Sheikh, Sheikh Shadi Suleiman, all the way from, uh, I believe, Melbourne or Sydney, Australia. Brother Elias, I'm going to surprise you with a question, brother. I want to hit you with the same question I asked Brother Nathif. Can you take me back to your childhood or to your, to your upbringing there in London? And was, did you know anybody who you know, was leading a bad life and all of a sudden, and perhaps they were Muslim, and they repented in such a way that it was kind of shocking and amazing and it was, it w it was something beautiful to see? Uh, you have a lot of examples like that. I mean, growing up where I grew up, um, there was a lot of crime, a lot of people that done uh, you know, un 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 unspeakable things. Yeah, I know what you mean. For Muslim or non-Muslim. And um, Alhamdulillah, where I live, there's a lot of... Um, people that embrace Islam so some of the most amazing sights is on maybe on a Juma on a Friday the Imam says such and such wants to come up and take Shahada and you see wow this person used to be an absolute gangster or yeah you know, there's a there's a lot of people from around from where they used to try to literally kill each other they used to shoot guns at each other and then uh, after Islam they're like best of friends and <laughs> it's amazing, right? for me th <laughs> like, and that's, uh, it's not uncommon it's amazing. It's not it? uncommon. Yeah. So w when you see it, it's, it's something really amazing. And it always takes me back when I see it or hear about it. Sometimes we might be out having something to eat and they'll be saying, you know what, I, I was trying to kill you literally. I was, I was this close. That's how some of them behave. And so when you're, when you're, you're sitting there thinking, wow. <laughs> like it's amazing. Eh? It's amazing how Islam can bring people together, together. through that Tawbah, through accepting yeah, yeah. Uh, the religion of Allah. And, and if you really reflect on that a little bit, no other way of life could do that, you know? Yeah. That's amazing, that's subhanAllah. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I myself was a professional sinner, if you may say, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was indulging in a bunch of different things, and subhanAllah, like, back in the day, I, I was someone you wouldn't want to talk to. I would have uh, just, the, I would be hanging out with the bad people that are, that would accept people like me, you know what I mean? And subhanAllah, I'm not saying I'm the best Muslim now, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm good enough, but uh, I'm happy now, you know what I mean? Alhamdulillah. Right. Yeah, subhanAllah. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy now. It's, 
Yeah. And it's all from, from repentance, from, uh, from the, the, the rock that I had being softened, becoming a real uh, a heart with life inside of it, a heart yeah, with, uh, with Allah's forgiveness and mercy. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Faxi, thank you for that beautiful story. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, so um, put it into practice. I think we, c we can do lots of things. One of them is like derived from what Lais has said is keeping good company. If I have good friends, and I personally do this, I always keep good company. If I going to do bad thing, going to sin, it's like, what are you doing? This is not right. So the bring you back. Yeah, take my hand back. Yeah. Uh, also, istighfar, as my my brother said, astaghfirullah wa tawbu ilayh. Yeah. Like as the Prophet peace be upon him did it every day. It's it's it's, it's, it's important. Very important. Um, uh, also, I. I said like uh, repentance prayer to rakaz. It's easy. Yeah. D do not proc procrastinate the, the repentance. We should not do this. In ayah, thumma yatubuna min qarib. Those who um, repent soon after they commit the sin, those who those who Allah has chosen to f forgive their sin. Yes, yeah, Subhanallah. Yeah. And I always do it like this. Look, I'm not the best guy, but I know if I have better people around me, then I'm in a good position. I want the people around me to be better than me so that I can try to reach up to their level and they'll try to bring me back, as you said. But if I'm in a situation where I feel like the people, again, you know, they're not that great and I feel like the be I'm the best one in the group, I don't want to be in that group, you know, <laughs> because I want people to, be, to have better people around me so I strive to be better like them. What do you think, brother? The okay. company is important, right? Uh, definitely. To keep a good company because by doing that, all, all the people, most of the people who go, who go astray, as a result of good or bad company. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it is important all the time to keep a good company who, if you creep from the way, yeah, they will put you in the straight path. They will take you to the mosque to listen to lectures, you know, to Quran cycles and many things. But bad company, yeah, you, you will be with them here and in the hereafter too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. so, yeah, but can we say perhaps, and thank you for like 95% of the, the lost youth in the Western countries is perhaps a result of, per perhaps the kid's a good kid, but because he, the, pe the young kids around him are pulling him in a bad direction, then you have that peer pressure culture where you can't say no because you want to be cool too. I mean, th I mean, I think that's responsible for like 95% uh, uh, perhaps of the the, situ the, the situations that young people find them in. It possibly so is the saying goes with products of our environment. Right, you know, right. We, we behave the way we, let's say, mon mon monkey see, monkey do. Yeah, to a certain <laughs> extent it's true, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And the youngsters say gangsters see, gangsters do. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, so definitely we behave and we act the way we see other people behaving and acting and we gravitate towards that. Right. So, yeah. um, you know, being around good company and you know, it's incredibly important. It's crucial, yeah. Yeah, thank you, brother. If we could, you know, we don't, we don't have that much t time in the episode. If we could give some, if everybody here can give a piece of advice to someone at home who's watching, who perhaps isn't uh, indulging in some sins, you know, and they haven't taken that step to really, really want to make repentance and stop the sin, uh, what advice would you give? Well, number one, <coughs> uh, stay away from the bad friends you're hanging out with. You will continue your life without them, and it, it might be it, it might be hard for the first week, the first month, but you'll eventually grow out of them and, and know that you can you can that love that you have for them will inshallah fade away and, you, and find friends that you want to be people <coughs> that you want to be like you know what i mean yeah thank mm -hmm. you brother and actually when i look back to all um, to my youth and I, I think of some of the bad characters it's like a character in a movie now i look back and i i i, I don't have any contact with them it's been years and you know the bad guys you know and I, i'm so happy about that because if i didn't take the path of islam i wouldn't be with them now i still do be you, do you mind if i mention an ayah that talks about something like that yeah go ahead, go ahead. uh so in uh, th there's a, a dialogue between people in paradise in surah safat uh one of the one of the people in paradise says inni kana li qareen yaqulu innaka lam min al-musaddiqin i had a friend that says are you of the believers aitha mitna wa kunna turaban wa idaman like mm -hmm. well, we, if we die and we will be we were we will, uh, if we if we died and we we become uh, bones and dust will we be brought back to life uh, and he says in turdin. If if you kept going, he, he's saying to the guy that's in hell, if you kept going and pushing on me, I would have been with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he says, Yeah. 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 Thank you, brother. Thank you. So it's the same situation. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Yeah. I would say, don't put it off. Don't delay. Just if you want to repent, uh, do it now. Just right now. Uh, say, Astaghfirullah Pray to rakaz and because nobody knows when we are going to die. You might die the next moment. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just 
If you want to do something, don't put it off and do it yeah. right away. Your life's not promised. Tomorrow's not promised. Thank yes. you, Brother. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Brother uh, Nasif. One okay, piece of just I would like to reinforce the importance of keeping a good company because all the consequences, success or failure, come from that angle. So, see people who wish you, you would like to be your friend in the hereafter. Yeah. So, try from here. This you have a golden opportunity ahead of you before you go there. Good company are available. So is bad company. So try to decide yourself, for yourself, a place, whether in hell, fire, or in the paradise. Thank you, Barakati. Sir, sir, can I tell no, you? Yeah. No. Uh, what do you think, if we want to get co good company, wh wh why we don't stay, stay here in Honda TV? Thank you, Interesting. But brother, last comment, inshallah ta'ala, yeah. Elias, if you can give a brief reminder to those guys who are girls, uh, people, Muslim, mm. who want to take that step to repent if they haven't done so. Yeah, I think, um, and it's important that we understand that Allah wants us to commit sin, so we com so we do so we make tawbah. Mm -hmm. But also, just mentioning what the brother mentioned about um, not delaying. You know, Allah mentioned in the Quran, "Laysat tawbah lil ladina yamaluna sayyat." There's no tawbah for the one who does bad actions. Hatta ida jaa ahadhum al maut, qala inni tubat al an. Until death comes to him, and then he says, "Now I'm making tawbah." It's mm -hmm. too late by then. You know, so just make Toba now, because like you mentioned, tomorrow is not guaranteed. Yeah, you know? yeah. So just make Toba now, and always try to strive, inshallah. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yeah, I certainly okay. appreciate you guys' time. I thank look you. forward to, you guys to having you guys on future episodes, inshallah. Uh, and you guys at home, I thank you for watching Let's Talk. You guys continue to support us on social media. You guys, it's 3w's.facebook.com slash TV. I think we have 150,000 likes, but we should have 150 million likes. <laughs> so you guys keep sharing it and liking it with your Muslim and non-Muslim friends. Please continue to share our Facebook page. Uh, excuse me, our YouTube channel, 3w's.youtube.com slash Shuda TV. And you can also watch the, the online streaming there as well. Don't forget to send me an email at talk at hooded.tv. If you would like to suggest topics and guests for this program, please feel free to do so. Talk at hooded.tv. Uh, that's all I got for you guys this time. Until next time, I leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.